In the previous video, we performed an electrothermal analysis of an IGBT-based inverter by coupling ANSYS Q3D extractor and ANSYS ice pack. In this video, we'll perform post-processing on the solution and come up with an improved design for the IGBT. We begin by generating the temperature plots. In ice pack, select the objects that were included in the electrothermal simulation. Right-click and go to Extend Selection All Object Faces. Now right-click anywhere in the modeler and go to Plot Fields, and select Temperature. In this dialog, select the Steady State Solution. Under Quantity, select Temperature, and in Volume, select All Objects. Press Done. The temperature plot is created. We see that the overall temperatures range from 30 degrees C to 114.5 degrees C. Next, we'll generate the current density plot in Q3D Extractor. Remember, we set up a load of 100 amps through the device. You can see regions of high current density at the metal bridge. There are also high currents at these points. Because of this, temperatures are also high in these junction regions of the semiconductor chips. The temperatures of the wire bonds are also high. There is also a hot spot at this junction. Temperature ratings for typical IGBTs are shown here. The temperatures predicted by Q3D and IcePack are within safe operating limits, but we can make the design more robust by reducing the temperatures. So, what can we do to lower the temperatures of the hotspot regions? One way to do this is to decrease the resistance of the junctions. This can be achieved by increasing the cross-sectional areas of the junction regions. The area of this junction region is 45 square millimeters. Here's my modified design. The area of this junction region is only 60 square millimeters more than the original model. I also made this junction thicker, increasing its area by 330 square millimeters. I've also doubled the area of this junction from 20 to 40 square millimeters. So these are relatively minor modifications to the original design. I added another ice pack design for the modified geometry. As before, I've linked the EM power losses from Q3D to ice pack. Now I'll run the simulation. Once the simulation ends, we can generate the temperature plot. The maximum junction temperatures are much lower now. They are 93.5 degrees centigrade. That's 21 degrees lower than the original. Moreover, the maximum temperature in this new design is over 80 degrees below the maximum permitted temperature of 175 degrees centigrade. This modified design is a significant improvement over the original design. Lowering the junction temperatures of the IGBT increases its reliability. We can explore the benefits of the improved design by varying the temperature of the surrounding environment. At a high ambient temperature of 40 degrees, the analysis predicts a maximum temperature of 113.5 degrees C for the modified design, and 134 degrees for the original. Therefore, the modified design has 20.5 degrees more safety margin before it can overheat and damage the IGBTs. This should improve the reliability significantly at high ambient temperatures.